everybody, so here is my January mid-month report. So just a quick overview of my report right now. This is how it looks. We'll go over some things that I've changed or added. Um, I haven't actually spent anything from this month's envelopes for my spending eating out miscellaneous. So I'm doing pretty good on my no spend January. It's been kind of difficult, but it's going. I'm hoping that I either don't spend or low spend so I can throw this at a goal that I'm working on. So just starting out, I, I did black out my actual pay. I'm going to actually start blacking that out now just for my own reasons. Um, but I did get my pay and my overtime check already this month. Um, all these already came out of my accounts except for some reason, my life insurance is taking a while to get out of my account. Um, it's the 15th, so it hasn't come out yet. But it's probably because of the holiday and other sorts of reasons. But it's, it's $20. It normally comes out. It just normally hasn't come out this late before. Um, I've only spent 108 on groceries so far. I've been cooking a lot in the Instant Pot, and I love it. I love in some pot. I, there was a few days that I, I have migraine, so there was a day that I had migraine, but I was really hungry, because sometimes that does happen. You have a migraine, you still need to eat. There's some days that you can't eat, but just chopped up celery, carrots, potatoes, onions, which are all very cheap. Um, threw that in with some tomato sauce and some veggie broth. And I had soy curls on hand. I just threw that all in in the Instant Pot for 15 minutes and then I added spinach at the end. And it's a pretty good soup. Oh, with white powder. White powder. White, um, white pepper. It's really good and it's actually really cheap and really filling. So it's just, people do that. If you have more questions about that, comment below and I can give you kind of the recipe I did. I followed like five different recipes and put them together because I was being lazy. Um, which worked out pretty good because I ended up making a very easy meal that's also very cheap. Um, so I haven't really spent much money in my groceries. I did pay an extra 136 on my um, larger loan. I'm hoping to pay maybe another 400 this month. That'd be great. And then I'll be paying a thousand this month, which would be fantastic. I didn't have any plan expenses. Um, so my total expenses so far is a thousand. Wow. 1267 and I what I have left over I have like a, a miniature um, I don't have list here but it's my debt snowball like side savings account so whenever I have extra money I throw it in there um, for the remainder of the month and then when I get my new check I just shovel it all in um, so right now I have 667 there that I'm hoping to put probably 400 into my loan and then the remainder or so I haven't decided yet. The remainder or so into my used car fund because so I'm trying to get that filled as soon as possible so I don't have to worry about that once my student loans come due in April. And then I did add a few things. So for here I added more columns. So now I'm going to start tracking what my principal says it is, the interest it is, and then the end of the balance at the end of the month so I can have ready total. So even though, for example, this month I started at twelve thousand seventy-three, um, my principal now is eleven thousand five hundred seventy-five. I mean, it was until the interest hit dollars. So now it's eleven thousand six hundred twenty-six. So that is my new amount right here. And then I'm hoping to pay extra on that. Um, their portal does not let me put in memo saying principal only so they suggested that either I send a check which I could from my capital one I just can't find my checks I don't feel like spending five dollars for checks I know um so I, I can send it from my capital one and put a memo there or they said if I have the payment on the same my, my extra payment on the same day as my as my minimum payment that it would hit the principal because of how it's calculated so we shall see which would be the best way to do it. Because I want to make sure I'm paying on my principal the extra money and not just paying on interest. And then, what did I add down here? Oh, I added a new line. Medication and supplements. 
Um, and I would suggest this with anybody who has reoccurring medication or supplements. I actually haven't done it, and I don't know why I haven't done it. What was wrong with me? <laughs> um, but now I'm, I'm actually on a protocol for my migraines that has various supplements. And mostly are their supplements. The only medication I have is a nasal spray for when I actually have a migraine. Um, and okay, those got expensive this year, but I found a coupon so I can hopefully not have to pay $50 for six of them again because that was a little bit ridiculous because uh, I was paid 15 last year. So I don't know what the heck happened. Um, but regardless, so I'm going to start, I'm not going to put $75 every month. I just kind of put $75 to bump it up a bit. Uh, because in, I think in March, I'm going to need one supplement that costs $30 and another supplement that costs $40, so I think eventually I'm just going to put $20 a month there. And then, um, the video that you may have seen earlier for my little migraine device that I put on my forehead, um, that's $25 a month for the strips that I need, so I started budgeting it. I actually have a, a, a tab down here for my migraine supplements. I need to make it pretty because it's not pretty, it's just a whole bunch of numbers. But I'm trying to track it so I can buy it before I need it so I'm not having a lapse in it. But all these are for my migraines. Like everything here is for my migraines. Except I did not put my stuffily thing, so I'll just write this in here and figure that out later. Um, I did buy three to start, so I don't need any for a few months. Um, so I'm good with there for now, which is good. And back to January. So I did add that, and I'll probably be adding, like I said, $20 a month. Um, here are my seeking funds now. So I'm getting pretty close to my car fund, which is good. Yeah, everything looks pretty good here. Um, doing pretty good this month so far. Haven't gone over anything. I'm trying to save as much money as I can so I can throw it at my loans, which I'm hoping to pay off. It'll be hard. It'll be very hard. If I could, I'm gonna somehow pay this off by hopefully January. Um, and I did just do the recertification, so that's good for that. In April, I will be paying my student loans, and I think it's gonna be like 138 minimum income based repayment. And I don't plan on just paying the minimum. I plan on once I finish my student my student loan. Once I plan once I finish this other loan, then they'll snowball into my student loans. Um, but my April budget will be interesting. Kind of been working on it, but figure it out when we get there, I guess. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, put it down below. And if you like this video, you can like, share, and subscribe. And you have a good one. Bye.